Drilling in difficult locations is no fun when you're building a plane. Here's an example of what I mean by a, by a, a difficult location. We need to put a hole right here. We note that the best we can do with our drill is go in at an angle. We could cheat and try and drill this hole. If the bit didn't slip, we would end up with an angled hole. And if this were a thick piece of metal, that would be even worse. Our drill is simply too large to get our bit straight in at the location we want our hole. The problem we have is relatively simple. The distance between the tip of the bit and the back of the drill is too large. We could put a smaller bit in, but that only helps a little bit to pardon the pun. So we need a new tool to get that distance as small as possible to tackle those situations where we have a tight location. Here are two examples of right angle drills or 90 degree drills. This one is the more deluxe heavy duty model and this one's a little less expensive. Both perform the same operation. This one is about $40. This one is about $140. All available at your favorite aircraft supply store. They both operate the same and have the same features. The issue is one of durability. There are more plastic parts and bearings in this. But this will last you a couple of planes. If you're in more of a production environment or just want a tool that will last forever, then this is a little more of the heavy duty type. They both take the same type of drill bits. And the benefit is the distance between the drill bit and the back of the drill is very small. Here is one of the drill bits that thread in to the drill. The end is threaded with the standard quarter 28 thread pitch. And you simply thread that in and you're ready to go you attach the other end to your drill, your regular drill, air drill or electric drill. But notice how the distance is very small and will allow you to get into very tight places. These drill bits are available in all of the popular sizes, both lengthwise and diameter. So you can get a kit that has a collection of these or buy them individually like I do because I end up using just a couple of standard sizes, a size 30, a size 40, a size 12. Here are some examples of the drill bits I have. We have some number 12s which are close to 3 16 and then some very small number 40s, 30s and 20s. And of course, again, you can choose the length of the bit as well as the diameter. The thread size is all pretty standard, all one size. Here I have my 90 degree drill chucked into my standard drill and I'm ready to go drilling. Note that the drill has no problem giving us a straight hole into this difficult location. Now here's a little secret. When I'm in a bit of a hurry and I have a difficult drilling situation, instead of going for my right angle drill, I grab one of my foot longs. A drill bit of the proper size, but it is a foot long. Let me show you how this helps you get into tight drilling situations without using the right angle drill. Here I have my drill bit chucked into my regular drill. And now for drilling this hole, note that we have some flexibility in the bit so that if we're real careful, we can come in almost vertically and drill a hole. 
Not as good as the right angle drill, but will get you in a lot of situations very easily. These long drill bits come in all the popular sizes.